Welcome back to another video. Sunderland at home Wednesday night. A match preview after the press conference has just come out. Don't normally do these type of videos, so I know some of you might be thinking, what are you doing, Deggy? What are you doing? I've done a lot of criticism on our performances the last few weeks. Saturday's performance was fantastic. Got completely spot on. So I wanted to do a little brief on Saturday, give the praise that's deserved, and then move on to Sunderland. And I felt, you know, to keep the videos ticking and show the praise where it's due. Now, Saturday was fantastic for several reasons. We got back to basics. We had players in the right position. Players were up for it. Players knew the assignment that they needed to do. We didn't muck around at the back. We got it out. I don't think there was many short passes from the goal kicks. Everyone was up for it. Morris, fantastic coming back in as captain. We really miss his captaincy. And Eli works really well with Morris as well. So a real credit to them two up top. McGuinness, we saw the best out of McGuinness on Saturday. That last ditch tackle at uh, in the second half was fantastic. I showed it on my vlog and it really deserves some credit from that. Tom Holmes played a really good performance in the first half until he come off. Burke, just been outstanding most of the year, as I've already said. Everyone played a crucial role. So hats off to every single one of the players and all the players that come off the bench as well. That showed real desire and continued that momentum on. Rob, obviously, is previously, uh, since it's been going downhill, has been getting some criticism. Yes, the performances themselves uh, deserve some sort of criticism because he's tried to do his style of football and put in some of his tactics. It's not quite worked. A lot of people complaining and saying that it was NJ's tactics that he took us up to the Premier League. But in actual fact, he came in in November, right? And NJ's tactics, yeah, of course, they were working, but I feel that it had a ceiling. NJ went to the Premier League, to Southampton. It didn't work. It was proven. Now, we needed someone, and I feel that he, this is the credit that he needs, where he took that tactic, improved on it, and got us to the Premier League. You know, that is fantastic. He did everything in his powers, and he did a really good job with that. He tried to tweak it a little bit in the Premier League. It worked sometimes, then it didn't work, and we've obviously come back down. We've continued trying it in the Championship. It's not quite worked, and obviously we've then gone back to the basics for the game against Watford, and it's really, really worked, as we can see with the 3-0. And I really hope, moving forward, that it continues to do it. We know Rob doesn't like to tweak too much when it's going well, so I feel that tomorrow's game will have a very similar side to what we see with uh, if the injuries are coming back. My personal criticism that I've always shown and I'll stick to, I'll stick by them 100%. All I care about is going to watch the game and seeing 100% put in or the tactics spot on. I don't mind going to a game and losing to the better team if we've shown our desire, our fight. And, you know, sometimes you hold down up, they were better than us. But if we turn up to a game like Sheffield United, where we don't have any of that leadership, don't have any of that quality, didn't look like it being the side that we know we're being, that's where we have some slight problems and we'll happily give some criticism there. But on a, on a general one, as long as we show that fight and desire like we did on Saturday, back the team 100% and tell them how good they were, etc. Or how, you know, they could have improved on it. As I say, with Rob Edwards, I feel that he will probably try and keep the similar squad. He said there's only one injury that won't be returning for Wednesday. I personally feel that will probably be Burke. Burke has been fantastic. He's put in a brilliant shift but we know he does have an injury in him every so often um he's put in a lot of hours on the field and a lot of commitment so i think if it is to be anyone it might be burke that's not going to be featuring so i think how we'll set up against sunderland will be holmes mcginnis and hashi we saw that in the second half. Moses is still out on the right wing back. We'll have Doughty on the left wing back. We'll also then have Jordan Clark, Klaus and Chongi if fit. And then we'll have Adebayo and Morris up top. As I say, he doesn't normally like to change it too much. So I feel that might be the performance. Sunderland do play a 4-3-3 and they have done in the last two games. They've got Job out on the left side. They've got Rig on the right, Neil in the middle. And then they've got the three up top. So I think we'll either try to play that or... If we don't and we go to maybe a four at the back, I would quite like to see a potentially a Hashioka, McGuinness, Holmes, and then Doughty. And then in the middle, maybe Victor Moses, Klaus, and Jordan Clark. Uh, and then Adebayo, Morris, and Chong up top. Or he could turn around and maybe put Klaus and Nakamba in um, to cover with that three in the middle. Let me know th your thoughts on what you think that will be. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory. We know what happened last time we played Sunderland at home in the uh, semi-finals, we need it back to that. We need the atmosphere to be rocking like it was Saturday and at that semi-final. And then, you know, I think we will have the upper hand on it. Um, I really do feel 
that, you know, we could potentially walk away with the victory on this one. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please smash that like button, hit the sub, let us know in the comments your thoughts, and we'll see you tomorrow night.